So, uh, Bagel, this is Nars again. Um, thought I'd give you a change of scenery. And I figure I could better explain the whole difference between, um, say, an eco village and a regular um, apartment complex or, uh, you know, rental situation. Because that's basically what this is uh, for me um, a rental situation. Uh, by giving you a quick video tour, I'm going to omit some stuff because I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes for the YouTube video limit. But, um,. So anyway, so this is um, this is the parking lot. You know, you come up around here. There's still a little bit of snow on the ground, but I mean, today's really, really nice day. Actually, it's it's uh, spring is in the air. Oh, it's really nice. So um, so this is this is the main um, building, and actually, that's my apartment right there. Um, there's that's the solar panels on the roof. I think that's just for hot water heating, but um, but. These buildings are all connected. This um, this side is the kitchen. This is the main area, and there are other buildings. There's um, about eight or nine different buildings. Um, pretty much normal houses. Um, the whole eco is uh, the way they're designed. Uh, most of this wood is uh, local. I mean, basically everything. I mean, you know, when you go in a room and you can smell that it's just been painted. I mean, a lot of the stuff in paint is pretty toxic, so, you know, they put um, mil mildicides and fungicides and shit like that in there, so um, all the paint is non-toxic, like all the, every everything down to like the stains they use, um, it's just all very conscientiously designed, and the buildings are designed to get maximum heat and sunlight in the summer, and uh, I'll just go to serious community, I, I run into that problem. Hey Hugh, how you doing? So, uh, so anyway, this is the main, uh, this is what's called the community center. It's, um, it's, uh, it's kind of like the lobby. This is one of my favorite hobbies here, playing ping pong. That guy who just walked in there, he's, he's, uh, he's pretty good. He usually kicks my ass. Um, but, um, so you can actually get to here without, um, going outside at all, which is really nice in, in the winter time. Hey, how you doing, Bryce? Hey, John. I'm making a video for my buddy. All right. I won't catch you on there unless, actually, I saw you on YouTube. You were talking about the, um, the cob oven out there. Yeah, check it out. Type in Serious Community on YouTube and you'll see yourself. I don't know if you gave permission. I'm not I'm not getting I'm not really getting you right now. Um but uh Uh I have no idea. The the quality of the video is really bad. Uh it looks like it was taken in summer. Um but uh Yeah, no, I don't I don't know. Well, you can look it up by their username. Huh? That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, you could contact them if, if you uh if you didn't approve. But um anyway this place is really nice. Uh this is a greenhouse. Um I mean it's not like we grow everything we eat here, especially not in the winter time, but I mean there is a lot of stuff. Um that's charred, onions, kale, um you know, all sorts of stuff like parsley and uh, um, those little little guys are uh, miner's lettuce, which is a type of uh, green. It's really um, uh, rich in uh, omega omega three fats. I mean, not like really rich compared to like walnuts or fish, but that right there is that's a fig tree. So um, I mean, it's nice, and, and as part of your rental, you, you have access to this. You can come here anytime. You can come eat lunch here. It's actually really hot in here. It's about um, about 80 degrees, I'd say, right now. And even even in the dead of winter, you know, January, early February, it gets, uh, it gets pretty damn hot in there. So uh, go back and give you a more thorough tour of the, um, the kitchen and um, the communal kitchen and uh the um lobby but you know i don't want to get that uh that fellow on on video unless he uh wants to be on video 
so I'll try to respect people's uh, privacy. But oh, let me show you the upstairs. Actually, the upstairs is really nice. Um, and yeah, that 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 greenhouse in winter, the winters up here in uh, central Massachusetts can be uh, pretty damn cold. So just having that touch of green, all that fresh air, and the air up here is really good because we're surrounded by surrounded by a lot of forest. Um, Boston is about a hundred miles away, so. Not a whole lot of pollution, but I mean, as you can see, the lobby is really beautiful, and like everything in there from the tables, almost everything in there is uh, handmade. Um, you know, and it's all done. This is my apartment, by the way. It's all done to get like the maximum sunlight in the uh, in the winter and keep cool in the summer. And uh, most of the places, including the whole big old lobby down there, all. Uh, wood heated and uh you know as you can see wood is uh a very abundant natural resource and it's not like we have to go out there and cut trees um the guy who uh the guy who runs this place is actually uh also has a logging business so he he gets paid to take other people's wood and um also there was an ice storm this winter so a lot of trees got knocked down so uh so pretty much we don't have to put any, any any extra effort to get the wood than we already would just clearing uh, dead trees that fall in, you know, or blocking paths or uh, potential hazards, um, knocking down power lines and stuff. I'm, okay, I'm at s uh, almost seven minutes. Um, so uh, let me get back and show you my apartment. Oh, first I'll show you this upstairs space, which is really, really nice. So this is basically right above where I was before, and uh, really a nice space. They're having this class, uh, it's called aerial, aerial Fabric, where people like do all sorts of acrobatics up here and stuff, but I mean, this space would be perfect for, uh, you know, yoga class, martial arts class, anything like that. It's just a really beautiful space. I'm not sure how much uh, of that you get from seeing this video, but... Uh, anyway, so now I'm gonna go. Got two and a half minutes left. Can show you my apartment. And uh, if you have any any other questions, I feel like I'm not really covering everything. Um, but if if you have any, so if you have any questions, um, I mean my rent is is, is nice and cheap. Uh, I have to do four hours of volunteer work a week, and um, then I could do additional hours if I if I want to. Um, and basically the, the work you do counts at about like ten dollars an hour and you can put that towards your rent or uh, or food oh and all the food and other advantages you can get all this food uh, wholesale bulk order it um, along with the community which is really nice it's a greenhouse from the outside in the winter one of my jobs is scraping all the snow off there that would fall there was kind of an art to it you just loosen it at the bottom and you could create an avalanche effect so I mean, it's really rustic. It's, it's it's nice. This over here is the sauna. I don't have time to show you that, but uh, it's just a wood-fired sauna. It's really nice. They run it, run it three days a week. And uh, so here's my apartment. Uh, this is the downstairs. They got a bunch of guest rooms. Here, I'll, rather than going around the um, upper way, I'll show you down here. They got a bunch of guest space. Oh, and they got uh, composting toilets, which are pretty cool. I mean, they really don't smell actually at all. Um, actually much less so than a regular toilet, you know, if someone takes a nasty crap, you're gonna smell that, but not here because it drops like, you know, 30 feet and you cover it with sawdust. But I got uh, about 40 seconds to show you my place. So, uh, this is my apartment, kitchen, totally normal, totally normal kitchen. The, um, Wood stove is a little different, but um, this is my room. Um, it's really nice. I pay 150 a month, or no, no, 165 a month, plus uh, land use fee and utilities comes to about two, 265, 265 bucks a month, and it's it's almost like two rooms in one. Cause here's my cat. 
This is my loft where I sleep up here. I've gone over 10 minutes, but I think I can go a little over 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah, it's basically like a totally normal uh, rental. You know, I do my thing. I go online. People don't, don't bother me. Oh, I didn't show you the computer room. There's like a, a computer room because um, my computer's busted right now. But uh, this is my game against a uh, Sith fanatic named uh, Memen. I made this board myself. You like that? Anyway, I gotta go because I'm almost over the limit. But um, just wanted to say thanks for uh, being curious. And I'm not gonna comment on the Civ Fanatic moderator. I'm not gonna comment much on moderators at all. But uh, yeah, okay, I'm really out of time now. So.